Hello, kindergarten. So um, we're going to be learning about primary and secondary colors. And um, you've already probably watched a few videos that I've posted on primaries and secondaries. And now is your opportunity to mix primaries to make secondaries, okay? So for this assignment, you're gonna need a piece of watercolor paper, okay? And if you don't have any watercolor paper left, you can use just a thick piece of cardstock or poster board. You can use drawing paper. I just wouldn't use a really thin piece of paper because it might tear, okay? Um, if you only have like a half a piece of watercolor paper left, you can also cut your watercolor paper um, in half um, to save some of it or, um, or just use a half that you have left, okay? Um, also a reminder that I have left watercolor paper and drawing paper right inside the front door of the elementary school if you do need more, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, after reading the book Mouse Paint, um, I have a special guest from the book named Mr. Squeakers. Hey kids! I'm Mr. Squeakers, and I'm one of the mice in the mouse paint book. I'm actually the one that dips itself into red paint, and I'm here to just kind of help out and observe today. Great. Um, Mr. Squeakers, what are the primary colors again? Red. Okay, and what does red look like? Red's right here, okay? So that's red. And then what's another primary color? Yellow, right here, okay? And then what's a third primary color? Blue, right here, okay? Those are the primary colors that you're gonna use to make your secondary colors. And what are secondary colors again, Mr. Squeakers? Well. Orange is a secondary color, and you make it by mixing yellow and red. And then, um, what's another secondary color? Well, green is a secondary color, and you make it by mixing blue and yellow. And then, what about the third secondary color? Well, that would be purple. And you make purple by mixing blue and red. Oh, thank you. Well, now it's our turn, isn't it? Now we get to mix up our secondary colors by using primary colors. Okay, um, Mr. Squeakers, um, do you want to do this with me or do you just want to watch? Um, I'm just gonna watch. I don't wanna get paint all over my nice outfit. Okay, so I'm gonna put you to the side, Mr. Squeakers. And here we go. We're going to be mixing primary colors of red and yellow and blue to make our secondary colors of orange, green, and purple, okay? All right, so you're gonna need water and a brush for this, okay? You can just use the watercolor brush that comes with your kit, um, or you could use the larger brush if you want. All right, so as we said earlier, okay, to make orange, you're gonna take red, you're gonna put it on your paper, okay? And then before the red dries, you need to go ahead and get a bunch of yellow on your brush and make sure your brush has a good hair day and that you're being gentle with your brush. And then you're gonna mix yellow with the red to make an orange, okay? So now here I've got my orange. And it might be hard to, sometimes it's hard to see the colors through the camera. It's 
especially because sometimes they can be kind of changed or muted. Um, but that is an orange, okay? All right, now I want to make the secondary color of green. So I need to mix blue and yellow, okay? Blue. And again, make sure your brush has a good hair day. And now I'm gonna mix the blue with the yellow to get a beautiful green color. Okay, so now I've got my secondary color of green. Okay, now I want to make my secondary color of purple so I'm gonna mix blue with red. Ooh, and now I've got a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Okay, so now you really, what I wanna see is that you can mix primaries to make secondaries. Now you can turn this painting into whatever you want, as long as I can see green, orange, and purple on your paper. So take a look at your circles and think about what you want to turn them into. You can turn them into anything you want, okay? Um, I am just going to experiment with adding some lines around my circles, okay? Hmm. Oh, well. So now I just added primary colors to my painting. Remember the primaries are ye yellow, red, and blue, okay? Um, and these kind of look like flowers. They kind of look like suns, too. And they could be stars. They could also be germs up close or different kinds of viruses, okay? Or tiny little molecules, which are the building blocks of things, okay? Um, so at this point, you have the freedom to decorate your paper however you want, okay? You can do it however you want and just kind of play around and see what happens with the paint, okay? You can also even experiment a little bit. Sometimes I like to paint and then I'll take another color and I'll add it to what I already painted and I like to watch the colors just naturally mix on their own and see what happens. And the color will follow the path of the water. Okay. So to continue on, again, you're going to paint what you want around your secondary colors that you just made. Okay. This is the first part of this assignment. I will share the second part of this assignment next time we meet, okay? And, and it'll be in another video. All right, happy art making.